D2E? I'ma, I'ma tell you, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm the main. Fuck is you say? Come and get brain. And to them, and to them, and don't act like none of them. New to me, new to me. Maybe a dog, but you cannot new to me. You cannot glue to me. Too many bitches pursue me. I flip my dress, she yeah, I order me. She wanna zoom with me. Talk that little bitch ain't no spoon in me. Let she come over to scroll with me. I like it scroll in it. What sparked your interest in designing clothes? Uh, I started, I was with, we created 530, me, Tuki, Diesel, and Cody Cody. And then I never did music. I never got into music. And then uh, I just started working on distressing clothing and stuff. Stuff and I just started, kept going with it. And then I got into sewing and all such of stuff like that. And I just kept running with it, running with it, and things just started to pick up and just stopped, not going to stop, kept running with it. So, how did you get the name for Zace Clothing? Uh, Z started with, it started as Zizel from my brother Alpha. And I did some work with him and hated the words. After that, I just ran with the Z's just to shorten it, and then everything was Z's. Z's. So what made you add kids clothing to your catalog? The day my brother blessed me with my beautiful niece, Ella I heard a baby size jean jacket, designed it, dropped that picture, and that picture like went crazy on Twitter, started going crazy. And then I just kept going after that, and then I started st I styled my nephew, Drendon, which is Alpha Sun. And just kept going in from there, and then just, like the kids' clothing are just like I don't like put a whole clothing line out. I do those as like customs, as like if people get a hold of me if they want them for their kids, I'll do that. But like my, I do like just a, I do like I'm I do all men's clothing really, but I also do women's shorts. I do shorts for women, and I do like my shirts and stuff and stuff like like the stress work and all that patchwork, everything in between that has to do with designing clothing. So where has your clothing line taken you? It all jumped to South by Southwest when I booked, we booked him, all 530 game. booked him a show. We got a show booked to open for Lil Debbie. The first Debbie show was a little show. The first show was a little show, and yeah. Got it was like, on some shit. And then after we did that show. They fuck with us tough. Yeah, then they gave us a free slot to open up for Lil Debbie, Lil Yachty. And then I went to that thing and then people seen that I started designing clothing and then artists from there just started reaching out to me on social media and my Instagram and Twitter and stuff and I just kept progressing and didn't right. stop. I am where I'm at now. And from South by Southwest, what did that do for you? Up, bro. Uh, what it did for me is just expose the name, expose the, uh, the 530 game just in general. Um, got us connects. Many got connects. Plenty of connects. Connect. So what is 530 Bacon Boys? Uh, 530 all started like me and Tube just came up with this idea of like we're gonna make a we kind of like made a group it was just me Diesel and Tuki at, at from the, at the jump we just first we started it and then like we just came from there and then I brought I, Cody and Cody's always been like a, like I've met him like fifth grade back when I was like in elementary right. school that's like my brother like brother from another man but he never did music at all and I literally was just like, bro, try to rap. Like, just go in there and get in the booth, bro. Just try it. And that's exactly what he did. He just went in there and tried. And he's been on mixtapes and down in Atlanta, still living up here. He's been, he's mad. Like, he's mad known. He's out in Pennsylvania right now. So, like, with that being said, 530 is, like, still, like, best I can explain, like, we're still together. But when we first started, it was like we were all damn near in the same room, always working on the same yeah. shit. Like, that's how it all worked. But now it's like, I'm doing my Z's clothing. I'm out doing me. I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm out doing my clothing, doing this. Tuki's doing his music, working, staying on his thing. Cody's out in Pennsylvania right now, working, still doing his music. So we're all still doing our thing. Me and him, I just work, we work together at all times. Yeah. He works like he's like we do like all these like 
We be, everything I do, everything he does, I work with him on it. Like I manage yeah. him, I take him to the, I get him studio, I get him all that stuff. I get find beats for him, do stuff like that. And then clothing stuff wise, like he, like he, like when I first started, he, he was my first clothing model. So he modeled like all my like jackets and stuff like that. So we helped jump stuff off like that. But with five thirty, it's like we first started like all in the same room. But now it's like we're all five thirty is all still there, but we just yeah. branched out. Like we're still all in our own doing our thing. So like we got five thirty out. A 5:30 member in Pennsylvania doing work. We got me and Diego out traveling, putting the name out there, and then Tuki's still where we're at, but he's working, still doing his stuff, as we all should be. When it's all doing well, and it's For only sure. gonna go up from here. Well, that's a fact. So, how did people react to your success when you first started? How didn't they react? I was I dropped my first pair of jeans. I didn't drop them. I posted pictures of my first pair of jeans, and I was getting people from like Cuba and fucking. <laughs> Portugal and all this other shit is telling me like this shit is trash like looks like Freddy Krueger fucked you up like this dumb ass shit and then it was just I just was kept going and going and then I had other people from around my city like look I understand what you're doing I see what you're doing like run with this yes you got I see the visions you got like they just realized what I was doing because they most of them knew me personally not the people who were just seeing like something I did over line and then basically how I did like when I had like the negative opinions and coming and then the people around me who were just like, keep doing what you're doing, I just, that's when I basically had the mindset of like, that that gave me the permanent mindset of fucking opinion, run with what you want. If you're happy with it, you're happy. That's it, that's all there is to it. So what experiences has come with this? Really experiences I never would have thought of would ever, I'd experience in my life, like such as, getting my clothes into the biggest mall in my own hometown, selling that out of there, and then them wanting to do a collab with me. And then Zoomies even asked me to do, like put my clothing in the store, but I turned that down because I just feel like my clothing just doesn't belong in the Zoomies. I want like my own one-of-one -one type section in a store if I did that. But I did stuff like, I do a lot of stuff, like I like to put my stuff around my city just so like it shows like I'm, working around there but I love to expand out like, expanding is like the most important thing like pushing your name out further like such as like me like managing artists I manage him I manage Tuki I manage Cody and Cody and I manage Star God which is an artist of mine out in Connecticut which is doing he's doing real well and just all the things like that like I never would have thought I'd experience of becoming a manager and then stuff like that and even with clothing like I grew up listening like I had a favorite rapper growing up Kasky grew up listening to him, looking up to him all the time. Dropped the jacket. He got a hold of me on some like, I like this jacket, da da da. So, like, that was like the first jacket I ever gave out for free. And I mean, I I'm blessed I gave it out for free because that jumped off my whole career tremendously. Like, So what advice do you have for young entrepreneurs like yourself? Get a, follow your dream. Don't let a damn thing stop you, whether it be opinions, Anything going on in life, whatever it is, nothing can pull you back from success besides yourself. You gotta be hungry for that shit at all times. Starving for it. Not you gotta starve and not let anything hold you back from it. Let it be, like I said, a negative opinion that makes you want to stop it, or even if it becomes like a, a close friend who is a, a part of you or something. If, they don't can't work as hard as you you can't let that hold you back you or even if shit's moving too slow you just gotta be patient exactly. with it you can't rush things you can't you gotta know your potential basically amen get the nail on the head with it yeah if you didn't start designing clothes what do you think that you'd be doing now probably well, would probably honestly just be the like producing or engineering for 530 I would have got into that because I would like to be to be back like that busting tracks out so I would just sit there for hours with him and just record track track tracks like we would work together off of each other me and Tuke would just run with that and then Diego same thing basically same, same thing. thing but he got in the booth started doing his own thing and then his first song came out like I'm gonna yeah, explain yeah, his first yeah. song his first song was geeking he popped out uh, about a year and a half ago about it came out about a year and a half ago first track, ever. first track ever everything and I set it up in a way where I, just, I, I basically I woke up, I randomly woke up, he was already awake still, and was like, bro, I need you to listen to this track, da da da. And I listened to it, came to, this he was still in school, came to pick him up that next weekend, 
with a videographer behind me. And I'm like, look, bro, you don't even know who this man is, but we're about to go right downtown to your hometown and shoot you a music video. This and he had no idea lead. about it. And we first time ever, first time song, Went and shot first the music video. video. Went and shot the music video, all went well. That's a fact. And then another music video is coming up next for his song with Tukey called Styrofoam. That's yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link it. Link is on my Twitter. His Twitter. Twitter. His Twitter. All that. And we can. All that. So what plans do you have for the future? Keep working on my clothing. Not let the damn thing stop me. Nothing is going to stop me unless God removes me. Keep going. Keep my artists working. All that. Keep 530 together and just expansion. Expanding is the key to everything. Expanding is going to get your name all around. Like, my name, like, like when I expanded from here, I went to Chicago. So like that's just two hours away from like where I was at from my hometown and the stuff right there. And I went, kept expanding, and now I have artists I style in Orlando, artists I style in San Marcos, Texas, artists I style in California, artists I do stuff for in Connecticut. Literally all over the the whole nation. I design people. I have, my clothing is all around on certain people that I like actually work with. Like. I, there's people I like to just sell close to and then there's people I actually work with who are like, I'll style you and I'll make sure I get you the right fit. Or, and there's also people who are like, I want this jacket and I'll just buy that jacket to you. So there's different ways I'll, there's different approaches of like how you can obtain clothing of mine.